Here's a look at what's happening around the state today. The National Weather Service is reporting survey teams confirmed a tornado touchdown last night in Northeast Ohio. Details have not been released yet. The storms caused hundreds of thousands of customers to lose power and crews are still working to get the power back on. We often talk about how peak tornado season is in the spring. Yeah, but as meteorologist Michael Barron explains, it's important to stay prepared year round. Michael. Yeah, absolutely, guys. We've had a lot of tornadoes so far this year, not counting what's new from last night. That number 65, the latest tornado that was tracked down up toward the suburbs of Cleveland in the Valley View area brings us up to 66. It's possible that they could find more adding to that number. As far as our risk throughout the year, we tend to peak as we get into portions of June. Beyond that, things get a little quieter, but take a look here. You can see that yellow coloration over Ohio. That means we have at least some risk for tornadoes going deep into the year all the way even into the fall before it finally goes away completely. What that looks like by the numbers is we peak again in June. That's with tornadoes of 310 in the month of June since 1950. It starts to fall off near the end of the year, but you can see we have tornado possibilities all the way through December, breaking that down in terms of average tornadoes per year. Again, we average highest in June, but but even as we get deeper into the year, times like July, August, still about one to two tornadoes per month, a possibility, and that continues all the way even through November before numbers start to drop off by December, January, we pick back up in March.